So the Cryptomat node in Blender 2.93 just got a very, very awesome update. So let me just show you. So I'm just gonna go to the compositing workspace and I'm just gonna get rid of this and then just add in this EXR file that I rendered out for an animation now. This is, this is pretty awesome, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna go to the view layer and we have all the passes. We get the access to the passes and I'm gonna just change the resolution to the Instagram thing. I, it doesn't matter really. Change the backdrop over here and actually bring this one. Jesus Christ, I'm just telling you, I'm using the worst mouse ever. Yeah, okay. So now if we hit Shift A and search for CRY Cryptomat, uh, you can see that we have two options. One is Cryptomat and the other is Cryptomat Legacy or Legacy, however the hell you want to spell it. So if we choose Cryptomat, we get this new, completely new and awesome node, okay? And yeah, so if I again uh, add in the Legacy node, we get our old node, which it's it's pretty awesome. It was It was awesome, but why is this one better than uh, this one? So let me just quickly, uh, let's see how to use this one. So, I mean, it's pretty easy to use. Just add in uh, add in the combined to the mid socket. Now let's say I want to select uh, the ground plane because I want to change the color of it or whatever. The, it could be anything. Now I'm going to go to the object because these two have the same material. So object is again, it makes more, it makes more sense. And then connect a zero, one and two of the object to it. So how do we select that? Go to the pick, click the plus icon, and select this. Oh, I guess they didn't have. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, forget, forget what I said. So now we just selected that. So if we go to the image, uh, we, you can see that we have masked it out completely. And in the mat, we get the mat. Eh, all cool. Uh, everything is fine with that. But one of the reasons why I hated this, kind of, was because we... we I mean, th there's four connections going on over here, and it's just... Well, when the scene gets bigger, you know, the node tree gets bigger. It just gets like, it, it's, it's, trust me, for those of you who have tried, you, you know the pain. So I'm not going to go over how bad it is. Now let's talk about the new node. So all you have to do is just connect the combined to the image, right? And now over here, we have two options. Uh, the first one is render and the second one is image. Now render means, it, do you want to pull the data of the cryptomat from your scene, which is this one? And no, because right now I'm using the XR file so if uh, for those of you who are you know you're rendering the whole scene and at the same time you're compositing then render is your best bet but I'm gonna go with image because that's what we're doing and then either either you can open a new image or just click this and choose whatever EXR file you've loaded in in this case this is it right and now uh, again single image image sequence movie generator whatever it is right now in this case it's single image because it is a single image so it makes more sense right now, unlike that, like we connected all of these three connections, we did that, right? In this case, it doesn't have to be that way. All you have to do is select crypto object or material, but in this case, it's object, and then go to the pick socket, click this plus icon, select this. And now if you go to the mat, there you go. Now, I know this isn't that big of a difference, but honestly, it kind of is, because <laughs> this, this is like, super time saver thing you know because i've done like i was working on this project and i had to create like a lot of mass in compositing because the client decided hey we want to change a lot of colors so i said okay why not but as you can see the node tree got like super complex real fast and I, I'm, a, I'm a very disorganized person so that was this was like terrible but with th in this case this just simplifies stuff so i'm just going to delete this because this this is amazing so while we're here, I'm just going to add in a mix node and try to change the color. And while I'm doing that, I'll just talk to you guys. So yeah, so anyway, this this is like a super game changer for the compositing workflow because, uh, well, when it comes to Blender Scriptomat, you really can't export them to Fusion. Now, Fusion uh, is something that I like to work with. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of like my favorite compositing software but uh, you can't access the compositing passes uh, of Blender in Nuke, this, uh, in, sorry, in Fusion. I don't know why, why that's the case, but you just can't. So that's why whenever I'm working with compositing, or whenever, sorry, I'm work, whenever I'm working with Cryptomats, I tend to do all the compositing in Blender. Mm, so this, uh, makes it a lot easier. So let's say what I have to do, I have to change the color. So I'm just gonna drag this over here, 
just drag it over here and then add in a mix node right connect the image to the image and i'm going to change the color to let's say red then i'm going to add another mix node over here connect this mix node over here and yep <laughs> just connect this mat over here and i know this isn't like the best uh, thing out there i mean it looks terrible terrible but i just wanted to show you guys how the crypto mat node thing uh, it's working because for those of you who've been working with the old son of a bitch what is that sorry about that <laughs> uh, for those of you who've been working with the old uh, crypto mat node and then you land up upon this one uh, you might get a bit confused and i think this yeah so that's why i made this video i mean it's kind of i mean you can of course you know just learn it by yourself i don't think you need to exactly watch this video but th there there are videos out there on youtube that show you how to use the denoise node i mean seriously so compared to that i think this is this is a good tutorial but yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna uh delete this 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 looks like genuinely bad uh yeah i'm happy with this one but anyway, yeah, so the, the whole point of this tutorial was so that you do to, to get you guys or to introduce you guys to the new crypto mat node be yeah, I think I'm talking too much. Uh, and for those of you guys who want to know what crypto mats are or have no idea what it is, but how to use them and all that. I've, I've made a video on that. It's uh, in the demystifying the blenders render passes, blender cycles render passes series. So go ahead and watch that in that I don't use this node because in blender 2.92, it's not there. But now it is. So yeah, so think of this as an update to that tutorial. But other than that, yeah, that's it. Uh, enjoy, enjoy working with the new crypto map node and God bless Blender 2.93. Seriously, it's it's amazing. So yeah, thanks guys. Thank you for watching.